Hey everyone, what's going on? Phoenix here. Today we are doing the Sylphi of Crimson Stars quest. This quest was first introduced in the year 2000, so it's about 23 years after this quest was first made. You're going to head to Lycothus Crypt. Fastest way to get here is through the Samsur Settlement Portals, the Yanar Portal, and then come speak with Lycotha. When you get near the area, you're going to start to see area messages saying like, leave me in peace, go away. And then Lycotha, when you uh, speak with them, is going to give you a broken haft, which is the first thing that you need for the Silify. And you could actually, like, wield this like a weapon, which I think is kind of hilarious. Uh, Lycotha is also going to tell you some coordinates for the person who can fix the haft. It's 10 clicks away, so you can either just run from here or you can go to Lytlethorpe and take the Devana portal and go from there. When you get here, you're going to see this... Uh, Gurundium looking building with the door and some copper golems guarding it. Copper heart. Open the door and head inside. It's got kind of a cool looking building with this, uh, I don't know, platform in the middle. The tree growing. You'll find Kana Bint Iswas, and you can hand over the broken haft, and you will get back a repaired haft and notes on the silify. So basically, the next step is to add a armadillo spine to the weapon to actually craft the weapon. Now, if you want the best possible weapon, you're going to want to use a plate armadillo spine. That's going to make a 350 wield weapon. I just happen to have a shore armadillo spine, so we'll use that. You attach the shore spine for use as a blade. Of course, I don't think I have 250 heavy weapons yet. We'll fix that. Now, the next step in the process, if you want to, is there are th uh, five different rubies, and you can add three of them to your weapon. This one is located at the skeleton tent outside of Al Arcus grab the ruby and this one adds a fire protection enchantment to the weapon i don't really care about what's on this so i'm just going to add it and you'll see uh it is filled with the ruby eugazic there are two notches for two more there's a ton of different versions of this weapon so basically you can get rubies for blood drinker fire protection cord defender or lightning protection probably if you actually want to use this weapon you'd want to do like the defender or the blood drinker and then probably the other one doesn't really matter i mean probably none of them matter because you're just going to get buffs but it's cool nonetheless and if you're playing on levistress you can take the rubies to the marketplace for some additional rewards if you're uh level 50 uh, between level 50 and level 60 that is All right, we grabbed the 20 million XP gem so we could <laughs> equip this thing. I think this thing looks awesome. I mean, it's clearly very 2000s art, but the three stripes and the crackling red lightning looks super cool. So that's going to be it for this one. Had to get it wielded before we ended. But uh, if you enjoyed the video, please press that like button. Please subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching.